Welcome to EA Sports live coverage of the Barclays Premier League. A huge rivalry as Manchester United play Liverpool. Off to Old Trafford now, the sun beating down this afternoon. What is going on guys? Master Gamer here for you today, back with another episode of our Pet Series today. And we are taking on the mighty Liverpool. We are today, so we have got a big game we have today. We have had a couple of recent run of big games, haven't we? We've had a bit of Man City, Southampton lost. You might say that's not, not a big big game, but I would say that was a, a big game. That was, that was a lucky game, I'd say. We got a lucky 1-0 there. We got a lucky 1-0 we did. So that was a good test of our team. So this is another big game it is today. Liverpool, see how we can do against them today. They have got a good squad. They've got Balotelli, they've got freaking Sturridge. They've just got a really good squad. So hopefully today we can keep them quiet and not uh, create too many chances today. But it's going to be a bit of a tough one it, it will be today. So hopefully we can do what I'm saying at the moment. And just we've got Steven Gerrard in the middle. A bit of Steven Gerrard. I should be never allowed to say Steven Gerrard like that again. One more time. Steven Gerrard. So right. We'll try and play a little bit more short balls today. And not playing too much booting last time. Because last game I was doing a lot of booting up in the midfield. Hoping one of my strikers will get the ball or winger. But today I feel like passing is going to be more in our favour today. So hopefully today we can do some wonders. And hopefully Di Maria can get back on scoring form as well. Insisting form as well. Here we go. Is this going to be one? Is this going to be one? Oh. 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 <laughs> Kadira, Kadira. Right time, right place. That was a nice, nice goal. Perfect timing. Nice control and bang. Very nice, Kadira. First goal in the Premier League for us. Very nice. Very, very good. And so that is 1 0 against Liverpool already. Just, I think I'm sticking to the tactic. Like I said, we're going to play a bit of short passing today. And not going to boot up the midfield. And we'll just take our time. Take our time and the goals will come. Oh, Chelsea are 1-0 up already. But Jody Elka. Or is that what whole city 1-0 up? <coughs> I didn't really see the score. And, no, it's not on my... Ooh, Skirtle. Yeah, Skirtle. Jordan Henson. Rojo. That's it. And pass it up to Blind Kadira, the gold scorer of the game so far. Di Maria, look at that. Can he do the same again? Falcao! Oh, is that Kadira again? That's Kadira again, isn't it? Oh my Jesus Christ! That is Kadira again. This man is on fire today. That was very, very nice. Boof! That was very, very nice. Well done, Kadira. Two goals. Cannot believe he just done that. Ten minutes apart from his last goal. So Di Maria's got two assists already to his name. Interesting already, this game is. What the heck was that? Not particularly great. It's control there. So, so far this game has made up for last game. There we go. Nice bit of opening up play here. Offside. Offside, I thought he was. That was really bad. That's it, boots it up. 
Something happening at Chelsea that we need to know about. What's well, happening at Chelsea? It's a goal for Chelsea. It's been scored by Eden Oh, it's 1 0 to hold then of equalise. Falcao! Offside. It's got to be offside. No, it's counted. Whoa, that was an interesting one. I thought that was offside. Well, I've missed a few of these in my time. It isn't as easy as it looks. But he made it look easy then, I've got to say. It's a goal worth looking Very against. good. Manchester United really on top form in this first half. We are on fire this first half. Players have got a very good confidence in your team at the moment. That's it. Austin Janad. Right. Talking to the man of the match so far. Van Percy. Pass it back to Di Maria. Pass it back to Di Maria. That's it. Work the way up. Ooh. Team is lining up for the corner. Can we make this 4 0 before half time? And he's met it with his. Ah, uh, no, no, no. And he's gone for the corner and he's not missed it by much, but wasted opportunity. It's been a very, very good positive first half. Obviously, three goals to nil. It's going to like, yeah, positive. All right. So, ooh. So, nil, three, nil, going in at half time <laughs> against Liverpool at Old Trafford. I think I was playing at high school. It's a good confidence boost today. I'm overall happy with the squad so far. I'm not going to change nothing about them. I'll just do what I normally do in the second half, to do a substitution then. I brought a very good confidence confidence uh, in the team there. Right, pass it, pass it out, pass it out, pass it out, offside. Falcao! Oh my Jesus Christ. Where's Liverpool today? <laughs> How the heck did that go in? That was such a scrappy goal. That was so scruffy. Eight goals in the Premier League. I'd love to see his stats for like the goal ratio of the last like couple of like last ten games. Two goals for Falcao, two goals for Kadira. Very, very impressive. Oh, not a good pass there. I'm sure Balotelli hasn't come along yet, unless it's old. That's very well read, and that's a very good interception. Sammy Kadira. Angel Di Maria. Free ball. Well, let's go over to the Emirates Stadium and hear from Alan McAnally. Is that 1 0 to Arsenal? Newcastle? Oh, it's 1 1. So we're looking at one of their better players being replaced oh, now. Gerard's going so off for Levy. I don't have a clue. Um, What's that? Light for light replacement. I'm not sure because they're not doing so well in the game, and he's been part of that. He is. I mean, he's an important part of the team normally. Somebody that does break up the play. He does read the game well. Gets himself in those channels. Come and on, the ball, get the ball off him. Get to those levels here. 
That's a real tussle for the ball. And he's trying to... Was it no panic at all? Over the crossbar by a lot. Trying to word on the midfield player. Jordan Henderson, Coutinho. Coutinho should be playing from the start. It was a really poor performance from him. Uh, a player that he's capable of much better. So uh, maybe a one-off. He'll be hoping so. Tackle goes in. All right, I think I'm going to do some substitutions myself in the moment. Okay. Right, do some subs. Sub, 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 subs. Right, I'm going to bring off uh, Di Maria. I'm going to put Fellaini in that role. Uh, I'm going to bring on Zaha for Coke. And... Blind for Pilo. There we go. It's brilliant defending in the circumstances. Manchester United's change about to take place. And it's going to be his throw here. Substitution in progress. Going on now is number 31. Fellaini. Oh, Fellaini. And got the ball. Play of your height, you should be doing a bit more better. Well, that'll be a throw. What the heck is going on? He's not a left footed player. Liverpool have got a new man ready to come on. Liverpool won't be able to explain this. It's way below their usual high standard. Oh my god. Once again, it's like I'm starting to lose it again. It's just like the last couple of moments, I kind of lose everything. Liverpool go up against Arsenal after this, and uh, all those players down there. No one's in there. Uh... Hoping for better than what we've seen here. A look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Six minutes plus extra time, which I'm gonna guess will probably be like two minutes. That's it, Zaha. Is a pretty fast player on this. Falcao. Sure. Oh no, good pass, Luke Shaw. The referee has decided to add on two minutes. What the heck, Flaley? I'd give up. I'm gonna throw myself to the floor. He's pinched it back again. Here's Van Persie. He's the only man left. Five goals to nil. Good night, Liverpool. I will see you all get to the next, next fixture. That was a nice, nice goal from Van Persie. The goal from Van Persie. And that has just lasered into the corner. Very nice. Well done, my good man. Very nice. So, that, guys, that is a 5 0 victory there against Liverpool, which I think that will do us a massive confidence boost uh, when we go to the next game. Foul Cow, man of the match. Kadir, I would say he was very, very close to man of the match. But overall, very, very good positive. Quickly look at the Premier League table, see where we are. Because we are slowly, slowly catching up with Spurs. So we're four points behind Spurs at, at the moment. We've still got a game in hand. No, Liverpool have played the game extra than us. So we have still got a game in hand and Spurs still have as well. So Premier League table's coming along pretty darn nice. So next game we've got Aston Villa, which will be a good game going against... Uh, Aston, oh, I would say Benteke, but they haven't got Benteke anymore. They haven't got no one. <laughs> so we have to go against Cleverly, which will be pretty fun. So we've got Portuguese job, which I'm not going to take. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, player to go into the contract, that's fine. Uh, Southampton has been rescheduled. Um, not, don't want that much. 
So put this all out of these players' contracts. Because these players are due up soon. I think we're doing a little bit of a negotiation. So right, let's quickly look down here, see who we got. Actually, let's go down to so Van Percy. It's a lot of money already at the moment. So it's look at these players down by here. I'm not gonna bother with cleverly, we've already got a replacement for him. And so we're not gonna worry about. Definitely gonna offer you a contract because you're very, very good. I'm gonna say give you four, four years. I'm happy with that. Currently negotiating. Uh, Kilo is a lot of money for that player of. I think we can do without you now. Carrick. He's a useful player, so I'm gonna give you say two years. Wilson. Uh, Give you four years and the wage bulk up. Uh, Vlar is okay at the moment. Hernandez, he's probably going to get sold. And De Gea, he'd be a good player to keep on the books. Player demands. No, we're not going to give in to your money. What about 150k? Clean sheets, 10% bonus. Raphael, no. Is there anyone else on here? Be also we get Falcao. Falcao would be a lovely purchase to the squad. But pretty, we've pretty much got everyone down on a nice long-term contract. He's pretty got a six-year deal, Jesus Christ. So I need to make my mind up what I'm gonna do with uh, PLO if I want to keep him on. Anderson is definitely not gonna keep. But I need to think about these players and see what I want to do with them. But overall, guys, I'm going to go now. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, remember to smash that like button below. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel as well. And I'll see you all next episode, guys. Have a good day and bye-bye.